change of focus today as we switch our attentions to the FA Cup and a former FA Cup winner at home at the Walks. Can we get a win in today's episode of Walks to the FA Cup? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 3 of season 2 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, FA Cup action today for the first time in the series. And it's a rather big game, I think you can agree, because we have got a former FA Cup winner in Knox County coming down to see us today at the Walks. And let's just have a look at their history, just so I can prove to you they are FA Cup winners. It was a long, long time ago, but it did happen, as I'm sure all Knox County fans will be happy to tell you. But look at this, you've got to scroll down for a good long while to find it but there it is Notts County 1893 to 1894 when the final was actually played at Goodison Park never even knew they used to have finals uh, up at Everton so that's quite surprising and yeah they had another one there in 1909 not sure where all these ones were if any of you are football historians and you know where these finals would have been played Please do let me know. But yeah, finals used to be played at Goodison Park. You learn something new every day. But as well as that game as well, we are going to be bringing you the Murphy Tidville game as well, as I promised you in the last episode. And so let's go and have a look, see how we've been getting on since the last episode, which was these two games here against Blythe Spartans and Darlington. And as you can see, we lost both of them. If you want to see any more in those games, go back and watch them. If you haven't already, they're in the playlist. So go and check that out. But after those two games, we did what we did after the first episode of the series as well. We, yeah, we went on a bit of a decent run. I don't know why we can't do it on camera, but as soon as the cameras are turned off, we become very hard to beat. So we started off with a 3-2 win against Southpool. A last gasp winner from Sam Kelly in the 92nd minute did do it for us. A very good goal that was. And I think we deserved to win that game. We did play very well. And I thought a draw was going to be a little bit unlucky. So thankfully Sam Kelly did put things right and get us the win in that one. And then in the next game we experimented a little bit in the FA Cup. Not really out of choice. We had a few players who weren't injured, but they had a bit of a fitness crisis going on. And so I thought I would rest a few. And one of the gambles I took was this fella here, Raheem Seckleford. He came into the squad and on his debut for us, he scored two goals for us. Which is a little bit surprising because he's a right back. He is a right back. But I think he's definitely earned himself a place in and around the squad at the minute. As you can see, he's two and a half star. Two and a half star current ability and four star potential ability. And he could be a little bit of a non-league Mikel Antonio. I'm thinking there because he can run up and down the right hand side. He can play anywhere on the right hand side. And he's got a half decent cross on him. So... Yeah, he could be alright for us. We're going to see how he gets on over the next few months. But then, who else scored in that game? It was, of course, the main man, Adam Marriott, getting himself another goal. Again, he's another one. Doesn't like playing on camera, but as soon as the cameras come off, he turns alright. And then after that one, we had two 1-1 draws in a row. One against Farsley Celtic. Tyler Walton with their equaliser after David Mbala had given us the lead. And then following on from that, again same scoreline, but Adam Marriott giving us the lead in the 81st minute. And so you would think, taking the lead in the 81st minute, you're going to be alright, you're going to win the game. But no, 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 no. Scott Smith had something to say about that. And so the game finished one apiece. Wasn't the best game of football to be honest. 
Neither side looked too brilliant. Neither side looked like they they was going to win the game until it all started kicking off in that last 10 minutes. But after that one, we had a phenomenal result. 4-0 against Altrinham, who I think might have been top of the league. Yeah, they are top of the league now. They was when we played them. But they had absolutely no answer for the main man, the star man, David Mbala. A hat-trick from him. 29th minute, 81st minute, 82nd minute. And Odyssey Spyrides got us the other one off the bench. And yet, what a performance that was. We looked so very good in that game. If we could have more performances like that, we would be in automatic promotion spots easily. And then, the game that set up the match for today against Stafford, we beat them 2-1. We had a little bit of a scare because they did get a penalty in the second minute and they converted it. But Adam Marriott with the equaliser, George Brown with the winner in the 78th minute. And yeah, once we scored, we always looked like winning. We never looked in any danger. We looked comfortable once we got the equaliser. So I was very happy with that performance. And then we went two games without a win. 0-0 against Leamington. They had a man sent off, but it was in the 94th minute. Pretty much the last kick of the game. But unfortunately, that kick was a bit more violent than what the referee would like. So, yep, yeah, 0-0 game there. Not much to say about it. Pretty boring game. Let's move on. And then next one, Gloucester. 2-1 win for them. Spencer Hamilton in the 37th minute. Josh Thomas in the 43rd minute. Turning it around after Zach Dronfield had given us the lead. And yes, yeah, second half, we looked tired. We looked a little bit leggy. And so, yep, yeah, never really got back into that one. But Chester, this was quite a nice performance. This one against Chester. 2-0 win. David Mbala in the 34th minute. Adam Marriott in the 38th. And yeah, very, very nice performance. We always looked like boss in this one. Chester never really challenged us. Marriott there with a 7.0 rating. Mbala with a 7.7. .7. He really is that good. He's worth all of the, what, £650 a week, is it, we're paying him? Not Marriott. No, da, 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 da. Where's he gone? David Mbala. Yep. Yeah, £675 a week we're paying him. And he's proven to be worth all of that, I think. He scored eight goals from 17 appearances, which on the left-hand side, I'm quite happy with that. And Adam Mario, how many goals has he scored? I just want to have a look at that before we do get into the game. Where is he? Adam Marriott, there he is. He scored nine goals from 20 games. So him and Mbala, it's going to be interesting to see who gets our top scorer this season out of them two. I might even think about trying to retrain Mbala as a striker. What do you boys think? I know he can play there already a little bit. But if we could get his finishing up. You know what? I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. Where are we? Position. Because if we could have them two up top, I would quite like that. And so what are we thinking for his, for his, um, uh, his position? Or his role even? I'm going to go advanced forward. Try him, as an, try him as an advanced forward. And then additional focus. Uh, can we set that to finishing? Uh, shooting. Yep, there we go. And so intensity level. Uh, I'm going to go normal intensity and see if that helps him. And so let's get into the game. Let's get into the team for today's game, people. The team looks like this. It's Barnes in goal, keeping his place as ever. Richards, O'Dwyer, Smith, Seckleford as the back four. Richards and Seckleford playing a bit more defensively today. And then in the midfield, we've got Payne and Dronfield still there from the last episode. But Dronfield is changing to a central midfielder. So, yep, it's going to be interesting to see how he does alongside Payne in that new role. And then on the left it is, of course, the main man, David Mbala. Carey in the middle as our attacking midfielder. Brown on the right-hand side. Brown and Mbala both as inside forwards. And then Marriott is going to play as a pressing forward. And that is the starting lineup for today's game. With Barden, Fryer, Clunan, Swain, Spyrides, Parsons and Kelly 
all on the bench. First highlight of the game is Knox County with it. And we've given away a penalty. That is harsh. Oh, I think that's a very harsh penalty. Oh, come on, keeper. Come on, Barnes. It's Rose to step up. He goes and it's in the corner. Not the way you want it to start. I don't think that was a penalty. I think that's a very harsh foul to give away. And Rose, for what it's worth, it was a good penalty. Right in the corner. Gave the young man, Barnes, absolutely no chance. Ten minutes in. And we've got the ball, but we've given it away. Osborne on the left-hand side there. Plays it into Kelly Evans. He goes long. And can we win this back? We have, but only as far as Osborne have we cleared it. And now it's Howes with it. Come on, Sheckleford, win it back. Nope. Osborne. Osborne playing it through, surely. Nope, goes for the shot, and that's blocked. And now Payne does get it back for us there. And he plays it to Carey. And can he get it to the star man? Can he? No, he doesn't. He goes long, and Marriott's on. Marriott is on. This is a great chance here. Goes for the shot, and wide. But we've got a corner ball, which Marriott is going to take himself, crosses it in, and I've got to take Marriott off corners. I keep forgetting, as soon as I, as soon as I press stop recording, I forget he's taken them. Possibly another highlight for us is George Brown with it, and he's coming forward, goes to Carey, wide to Sackleford, and he's got Brown ahead of him if he wants him, but he cuts inside, goes to Payne. And Payne, can he go outside? Yes, he does. Brown, he needs Sackleford to run past him, which he has done. And now cross it. Cross it in. Oh, he's missed a chance there. But he's come inside. He's come inside. Penalty. We've got a penalty. Yes. Well done, Sackleford. What a run from the young man. And is it Marriott stepping up for us? Yes, it is. He runs up. He shoots up. We're level. We are level against Notts County. Oh, my days. Marriott's 10th of the season. Yes. What a run from Sheckleford to get us the penalty. And then Marriott, calm as you like. Anything the Notts County man can do, he can do just as well. Oh, but the highlights. A lot of highlights in this game. How's with it? He throws it into the box. Turn and nudge it down. It's Booty. Oh. Regan Booty with the goal. That name rings a bell. Who's, whose FM save was it last year where they, where they had Booty? Might have been Pines. Might have been Unarming Pines or Curtis. If you know, let me know down below because that is going to annoy me. But. Once again, almost half an hour gone. Payne with the ball and he's fouled. Why is that man still on this football pitch? Referee is completely against us today. Osborne with it. Come on, come on, win it back. No, he's crossed it in. Smith gets it out, but only as far as O'Brien. O'Brien's in the box. And Barnes with the easiest save he's ever going to make in his life. Dronfield with a free kick for us. O'Dwyer, we're level again. We refuse to go away. What a game of football this is. Oli O'Dwyer with his first goal for the club. And what a time to get it. Oh, let's have a look at this on the replay. Dronfield with a free kick. Right onto O'Dwyer's head. Right into the corner of the net. Come on, boys. Oh, that was never offside. It was never, ever offside. What are you moaning about? One last highlight before half time, and we won the ball off their free kick there. And Barla's beaten a man. Cross it, cross it. Oh, why did he cross it? Why did he go for the shot? Oh, wow. What a first half of football that was. Oh, my days. 2 2. We've been behind twice. Got ourselves back into it twice. We are not giving up today. We've had six shots to their eight, three on target to their four, and possession has been pretty much down the middle. I think we can win this. I honestly think we could win this. Let's go passionate. 
uh, we're not doing badly at all. Or go back out there and grab that one goal. Go get back out there and grab that one goal. Not much reaction there. But I believe you've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. And you've got what it takes. No reaction from Marriott. That's a little bit worrying. Five minutes into the second half. Marriott with a header. And George Brown. Oh. It's disallowed for offside. Thought for a mini second there. We was ahead. Let's have a look at this one. Is he offside? Yeah. Yeah, he is, unfortunately. Barnes now, with a goal kick, goes short to Smith. He plays the ball wide to George Brown, who cuts inside, takes his defender out there nicely. Marriott, I think he's onside here. He's into the box, and... Oh, he's gone round the keeper. He's Georgie bested it. He has Georgie bested it for his 11th of the season. And yes, what a goal. We are leading against Notts County. Come on. What a pass that was from Brown as well. Marriott took it past the keeper and then thought, thank you very much, son. I'll take that. Yes. Half an hour left to go. Dronfield with a free kick. It's gone against the bar and it's been cleared out for a corner ball. Come on. Another goal and that would be beautiful. And Marriott goes quick. But they head it away, and now O'Dwyer has it, and that ends that. 20 minutes left to go. They clear the ball, but we win it back again. We are winning all the second balls here. George Brown with a long shot, and, well, less said about that, the better. All right, guys, just making a couple of changes. Louis Swain is coming on for Lewis Richards. Lewis Richards has had an awful game, and he's been booked. So I just want to try and mitigate the risk of going down to 10 men. And Connor Parsons has come on for Sonny Carey, who again hasn't really done a whole lot today. And we've moved Mbala and Brown down a little bit to the midfield just to try and shore things up to help us see through what would be our best result of the series so far, I think. Oh, five minutes left to go, but we've won the ball back. George Brown going forward. Marriott, can he find a teammate? Come and pass it back to Brown. He does. He's got Seckleford on the wing, and he gets it. And now, is he going to run at him? Nope, he goes to Brown, plays it through. Come on, come on, man. Go for the shot. Go for the shot. He has, and well, don't listen to me. Do not listen to me, people. Oh, I wish these highlights would stop. Every time there's a highlight, I get a bit more nervous. And now, Seckleford with the ball. Come on, to Brown. Just hoof it. Just get it away from our net. Dronfield to Payne. The one time we decide to start playing decent football. And it's a time it's going to make me nervous. That's again another foul. Surely from Rose. That's twice he should have been sent off. And now Howes back to Booty. Booty with it. Come on. To Howes. He crosses it. And it's in. It's offside. It's offside. It's offside. Yes. Yes. That's not going to count. Sit down, Notts County fans. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, a hair offside. But I will take it. Oh my God, why, why are we now getting so many highlights? Payne with the ball to Swain. Come on. Come on, just put it in the box or do something. Mbala, he crosses it. Oh, they've got the ball. They've got the ball. Oh no. Not liking this one, people. Come on. Three minutes left to hold on. Slocum clears the ball. Howes heads it on. Smith, what's, what has Smith done there? Oh, he's giving me a heart attack is what he's done. But we've got it away. Mbala over the halfway line. Come on, get the ball in the box. Parsons to Marriott. Very nice football here. Can we confirm it? No, we can't. Oh, But at least it's a corner. It's away at the other end. And I think that's it. 30 seconds left. O'Dwyer forward. Mbala. Cross it in the box. Cross. He does. But it's taken a deflection. It's gone to their keeper. They've got 20 seconds to get this from one end of the pitch to the other. Oh, come on. Sackleford. He goes long. And it goes to their man. Tootie. Tootie footy. Please don't be that footy right now. Oh, Payne. Uh, O'Dwyer, I'm mixing people up now. Clear the ball long. F Come on, referee. Blow your whistle. Come on. Why is he not doing it? C 
What is he doing? Boo! Come on, do not give them a free kick. Why? What is happening here? Referee wants them to get an equaliser. Or if they do here, I am going to smash this desk. Which they haven't, thank God. And now Barnes just hold it, son. There it is. There it is. The final whistle. Yes! 3-2 against Notts County. A former professional league side. Former FA Cup winners. But nothing compared to us. Oh, what a game of football that was. What a game of football that was. Oh, we're going to go passionate. We're going to go, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Oh, what a performance. I'm very, very happy with that. Oh, but you know what? I think that episode is a little bit, is a little bit on the long side. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave it there. But, uh, but I'm recording this on Saturday. So, I'm going to bring this video out today. Be out, well, obviously, no point telling you what time it's going to be out, because it's out, you're watching it. But I'll bring this one out today, and I'll bring you the Murtha game in tomorrow's episode. How's that sound? Because I don't want videos to be too long. And so, let's leave it at that. And hopefully, in the next episode as well, we will see who we're getting in the first round proper of the FA Cup. Oh, my days. Very happy. And so, guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. If that result, that video does not get likes, I don't know what will. You know what? I want to set a likes target for this. 10? 10 likes? If we can get 10 likes, that would be very, very good. And, yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Subscribe to the channel for more mad games of football like that one, people. And as well as that, uh, go and visit the Passion for FM website and the Discord server. Links down below, as ever. I'm sure you all know the drill by now. And, yep, guys, I'm going to go and lay down for a little bit. And I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.